In this video, I will be sharing with you what you can do with the oval wash brush. So what's the special thing about this brush is the way it's shaped. So it has a nice, nice point. And you can also say this is cat's tongue brush, almost like the same shape. But the thing is, it's a little wider and it has that nice and pointy part like the end and overall it's a little longer the hair so you want to take advantage of the shape of this brush and help yourself as much as you can to paint for example flower petals or leaves it can be so much easier and faster in a way because we're always dealing with that drying paper and we want to do sometimes things so much faster so i am grabbing some of the paint and the paint is pretty well diluted with water so i want to fill my brush with enough of it and then i'm positioning my brush so that pointy part is starting my petal and now I needed to grab a little more paint, so I'm, I keep expanding, so shaping my petal this way. I'm shaping it and adding a little more water just to fill it, but I'm using now the pointy part of the brush as if I was painting with a round brush. So you can use that pointy part of the brush to create smaller detail even, or just to use it to shape your petal or a flower, flower petal or a leaf. So painting now the other side, and the other side I'm using a little more water, but I am positioning my brush this way and I'm kind of dragging it. And I'm using the pointy part to guide me to create that nice shape of a bougainvillea petal. So a little more water, I want to use more water so I have more time to play with it. So I'm shaping my petal again the same way I did the other one. So I can do different shapes with this brush because of that shape. And there's two different sizes you can choose from, but overall you want to start with that pointier part and then use the fullness of the body of this brush to create uh, the rest of that petal or a leaf whatever you're painting this is a very useful brush it makes your process so much easier because you're just using the shape of it to create an object so to create uh, these flower petals in this case and you can add a little more paint and if I do that I want to use the pointy part of this brush which is almost like using a round brush like a smaller round brush just more color if you want to you can add different colors uh, some texture and we'll be adding those lines for the bougainvillea flowers in the middle and adding some of those veins at the same time so I want to dip my brush in back in water again I'm gonna be using the pointy part of this brush to paint the lines so the veins I need to make sure that I have a nice point and use that tip of the brush to create a nice line and i don't want to use too much paint now uh, parts of it are still wet so i'm starting from the bottom and as you see i'm positioning my brush and shaping it in a way so i can paint that those nice lines and then i'm going for the middle section so i'm starting with the really tip part of this brush the pointy part and then kind of using more of that body to create a little thicker line so it just depends how i am putting the pressure on the brush too but for these veins for example i want to use just the tip part just the top part of this brush because that's the thinner and smallest part of the brush it's the least hair and i will be able to create very small lines to resemble the real veins of the flowers what i'm doing is i'm holding this brush very close to its head because i want to have the most control when i paint these lines and then just adding more of those petals and totally random shapes. And this is what I can do with this brush, the overall shape to paint a simple petal and use that pointy part to guide me through the process. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.